welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, and I am the Psychic Medium channel here to give you your answers about life, love, career, and finance. Also to help you connect with loved ones on the other side. Do -do 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 -do. It's gonna be a day, folks. It is just is gonna be a day. Get ready, because the day is here, and we are on it. <laughs> I hope my callers just understand it's going to be a day. It is. It's the day is here and we are on it. Okay. So there's so much, so much I want to tell you, but here's, here's where it is. Okay. So <clears throat> I get all these downloads and understandings and yada, yada, yada. And many times people are asking me, like, what's going on? Why can't people see what's going on? Where is this going? What's going to happen? And I want, I really want to do a show. I really want to do it on this show right here, right now. I, I want to be, I want to be able to tell you, I want to be able to say, this is exactly what's going on. This is the plan. This is how they plan on making it happen. This is how, you know, it's going to work out. Depending on what actions we as a people take, it's either going to go A or it's going to go B, okay? But he, <sighs> brain exploding. <laughs> there are so many people that can't handle the truth. Like in that movie, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> I want you to be able to handle the truth so I can tell you the truth, but then I want to be able to tell you the truth and not lose my channel. <laughs> do you see, do you see my, my dilemma? Do you see the world I live in? Do you see how just <sighs> it is, <laughs> how cuckoo it is, how cuckoo in my brain it is <laughs> how cuckoo it is in my brain <laughs> so i had to make a decision today and this decision is to open my mouth and let it all blurb out or to suck it back down <laughs> so i'm gonna let people on youtube tell me should I open my mouth and blurb it all out or should I just <laughs> suck it back down? <laughs> that is, uh, okay. Heather says, tell us. Heather, I really want to. I really want to. But as soon as I start talking about this, I see my numbers drop. Patrick, uh, a lot of ways to interpret that. <laughs> I know that's why I'm laughing, Patrick. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm cracking up after it came out of my mouth. I just was like, oh, could you have used a better term? Uh, Jennifer says, just wanted you to know that the fireflies are not real. Okay, see, here we go. Most of my listeners are truthers. No two ways about it. Most of my listeners are truthers. They they already know most of this. Um, okay, so Jennifer Francis is saying that the fireflies are not real. She tried to take a video of them and the electric shock went up my arm. There was a, cr a crackling, a crackling sound of electricity on my video. Okay, Jennifer, I know you are right. Um, a lot of you, for those of you who don't know, um, you know those drones that they have in the sky? Th those aren't even close to what the, let's just call it militaries of the world have. They've been using animals for the longest time to spy on each other and us. <laughs> Why would they want to spy on us? They have Siri, Alexa, and Google to do that now. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Anyway. Um, so, okay. Somebody commented. After, I, I, please be. 
this is not going to be the whole show. It's just going to be the beginning of the show. And, and I'm going to try to say this as quickly as possible and use as many examples as possible and, and just kind of get it all out and, and get on with the show. So please callers, hold on. Uh, hold on, Snoopy, Snoopy, hang on. Ooh. I don't even know that song. Is that a song or did, is that, that's a song, right? Pretty sure it's a song. Okay, so callers, hold on, 447, you're first, 415-586-347. I'm going to try to get to each and every one of you and more. Okay, now I'm going to get this out. As somebody commented about on Monday's show, I said something about Roe v. Wade and how it's designed to divide us. First of all, First and foremost, they did not stop your right to extract something out of your body. If you want to get something extracted out of your body, you can still do that. And if you do, I have no judgment. I don't care if you want to get something extracted out of your body. That's a, that's your choice. It is still your choice. They did not say we are ending this. They said each state will now be able to decide on this and how, so for example, California might say you can go 28 days after the baby's born to decide if, if you're extracting it, unaliving it. I have to use specific words because other words will get the show banned, taken down, I'll lose my channel, yada, yada, yada. So, some states might say first term or first trimester. Other states might say second trimester. And you know what? If your state says first trimester only and, and two states away, they say second or third trimester. And here's the bigger issue of this. They would never, the politicians would never, ever ixnay this. They make too much money off of it. Mm -hmm. All the food lobbyists, science lobbyists, they use those stem cells. They use the extracted material in the food and for research. Our government makes way too much money off of extractions to get rid of them. Not to mention every woman out there is saying, I won't have sex with a man again. Da, da, da. This was a group of judges, not men in general. Let me tell you, nobody wants to be anybody's baby daddy and pay child support. From what I'm seeing on all the videos, guys would rather not have another baby more than the woman. So stop blaming all men, okay? I, I don't think all men and are saying, Yay! Those guys with mistresses are really upset about this. I mean, I'm just saying. So suit up. Put a little raincoat on your diggity dog. It, find out what the, the situation in your area is or the neighboring areas and, and don't let them divide us. Do not let them make this something that divides us. Now, a couple of things real quick. Um, I, okay, what is the purpose of some of this stuff? Because it seems like it's got, I mean, 96 food manufacturing plants burned down. The government trying to buy out all farm crops. Animals falling Well, and then we have all these court decisions that are coming out to enrage people. Now, this is what I'm talking about What when I say they are trying to divide us. They realized they did some experiments. And yes, when they first said, <laughs> we're going to have a shortage of toilet paper. Okay, during a pandemic, toilet paper was our biggest concern. Anybody else find that odd? <laughs> not, not Kleenex, but y'all do it with your toilet paper. 
I mean, not Kleenex. <laughs> what was going to be happening? Um, and they saw what we did. They watched. If we say there's going to be a shortage in toilet paper, <laughs> they watched that everybody went and fanatically bought toilet paper, <laughs> which created the shortage <laughs> in toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm laughing at this because it, it is a bit. It's the way I cope with things. When I get nervous, when I get like, ah, I, I laugh. It's it's really awkward at funerals. That's why I don't like to go to funerals. Um, so, and then through the pandemic, they they systematically took away rights to see how long and at what point we would agree to whatever they wanted and they found out. So now that in the, the pandemic, everybody thinks that was the thing. No, 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 no. So real quick, RV Wade gives the Dems a platform to run on. They didn't have a platform before this. Now keep in mind, Dems are in control right now. We have a Democratic president who said the last president was going to do this. And look where it ended up happening. Everything this prez said the last president was going to do, he is doing, or it's being done while he's in office. Now, the Democratic Party is now going to run on the stance that they're going to bring back Roe v. Wade. They're not in charge of the court system. And your rights have not been taken away. Now, let's go back to the whole thing of the food, the gas, and all the decisions coming in. They're all designed to create a state of chaos where we get to the point where we can no longer take it. We get to our breaking point for some people. They're just waiting for us to be so divided and against each other that they can do whatever they want and we will agree to it. Somebody said to me once that why haven't that that they are doing things so that we will literally fight each other in the streets. And then at that point, they'll be able to bring in the UN to get control of us. Once the UN hits our soil, there's no fudging going back. Do not let this happen. Do not let this happen. I do not care what they do. We as a people, no, this is a moment and this moment will pass. We stay united and we work with each other. We are not doing this. We stay united. We stay together and help each other. All of these women and protesters out here saying they're angry at men. Men did not make this decision. And it's not even a loss for us. Now, another thing with R.B. Wade, if they take away my body, my choice, if they bring another jab in, we can't stand on my body, my choice. Dun, dun, dun. Is it hitting you yet? Is it? Can you see the bigger picture? Don't go moment by moment. Look at the bigger picture of if they can cause enough chaos. Just like the taking away things one at a time, taking away our food, taking away our this, taking away our that. They can bring in an outside source to take control. Do not let this happen. Now, people want to know what's really going on. That is exactly what's going on, and they have been saying it. 
in POTUS's speech at the White House, and it's on whitehouse.org. In one of his speeches, he said, and I am ushering in the new world order. We're not going to sit back and let some other country run us. So they have to create a situation just like they did with the other thing that gets so bad that the majority of us will just be okay with it just so we can travel. Just so we can have lower gas prices. Get a bike. Start riding your bike. Do whatever you have to do. Do not buy into it's you against me or him against her or women against men or gays against straights or blacks against whites. It's none of that. It's not one of those things. It's them who have sold out us to a higher power, an NWO, that they're putting in place. And if you don't read me, Klaus Schwab, who is one of the higher ups that want power over our country and every country, wrote a book about it. C-19, The Great Reset. So anything I'm saying, they've already put out there for us to know. They're telling us step by step what they're going to do. Do not turn against each other. Let's have a big kumbaya moment and let's work together and stay strong and do not be in fear because this is a feeling plane. <clears throat> and if we stay in the frequency of faith and love and we work with each other, we have a chance. Okay, now I, I know all my chat is blowing up all over here. Hi, Caroline. Um, hi, Jennifer, Patrick, Amy, hey, Mika, Okanqua, uh, oh, abortion and immigration are non issues. That's right, they are non issues. That will decide it in the election. So the real issue of the people uniting stops. I'm not sure I, I understand how you mean that. Um, I'm really not sure <clears throat> how you mean that. Abortion and immigration will decide the election. Oh, that will decide the... Okay, so um, I think your name... I can't... I think your name is Nika or Mika. I'm sorry, you guys. I do wear contacts, but I still, my vision is still whatever. Um, abortion and immigration are non-issues that will be, that will decide the, the election. So the real issue of the people uniting stops. I, I think I agree with that if I'm understanding it correctly. Um, yes. And you know what, people, listen, these things they're throwing at us, they are to create chaos. They are to create chaos. And we have to be in that space where we don't allow that chaos to, to affect us. To, to, we have to look at the bigger picture. We have to work with each other. We have to... Um, Figure out ways like if okay if if they're if they're replacing all our cattle and putting out synthetic meat then we if we eat meat we start trapping rabbits and we start trapping <clears throat> I'm sorry if that offends you but it, I'm sorry if it does please don't be upset by me saying that or we start um, eating you know frog legs are a delicacy some places I don't know eat frog I don't know. Whatever it is that you do, go fish, go um, in some states like um, Texas, there are tons of wild boar, start collecting them, start pinning, putting them in pins and breeding them and, you know, start, start a business. I, I, there are so many, we have depended on these 
uh, bigger sources for so long, it's time to go back to imano imano, man to man, woman to woman. Man, come on, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, folks. This is getting way too serious for way too long. But there are places, there are farms that that are going to need our support to survive through this because the powers that be are trying to buy them out and are trying to take them down so they can, they do, because they're not complying. So work with the farms, go directly to the farmers, go ev within a hundred miles of just about everyone. There is a farm that should that, that you can probably get produce, that you can get um, meat, that you can get whatever you need. Somebody, I saw a video the other day at a tractor supply store where they have baby chicks. Oh my God, the baby chicks were just so cute. Ah! I wanted to buy them, but it, it, I I don't even know if we have a track. We probably have a tractor supply. Anyway, focus, Tony. Um, th these chicks were just adorable, but they were buying them for 25 cents a piece. Come on, get some baby chickies. Get some baby chicks. They were so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, okay. I'm going to go to callers now. And if any of my callers want to ask any questions about what I've said, please feel free to, if you want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Remember, I will never, ever reach out to you uh, the only way to get in contact with me for a private session is through my website, Tony G, T O N I G dot info, I N F O, Tony G dot info, or through my business number, which is 414 897 2869. I'm going to go to 447. Hey, 447, how are you today? Hi. Hi. Hi, Tony. Thanks for taking my call. I'm good. Thank you. What's your name? And um, where are you calling uh, from? Uh, I'm I'm calling from the United Kingdom. My name is Deep. Hi. How can I help you, love? Um, I am going through a financial crisis due to various um, different reasons. Um, mm -hmm. But I want to focus this question on one particular aspect. Um, so I had kept some investments in a company that starts with a C, um, and they are going through financial difficulties. Um, so my question is, do you see them, um, uh, being able to give back my initial investment, um, anytime soon? Okay. <clears throat> That's a really good question. And first and foremost, I'm really sorry about what you're going through. And for you, anybody listening anybody re-listening, I am going to do a financial clearing that money is coming to us. I get a no, we're going to clear that. So money starts coming into us. Holy who. And what I'm going to say is at this time, they're not going to be able to give you back your initial investment. I think it's tight. The words I'm getting is tied up. However, um, they may be able to give you back a small portion of it. They're going to try to negotiate you. If you can wait a bit, it will be a better deal for you. You will have a <clears throat> a better income, a better result if you can wait a little bit. Now, if you cannot wait and you just need whatever you can get, you might decide to take their offer. Um, what I would say is if you can wait, please uh, do your best so that you can get more of your investment back. I'm hearing eventually there will be a payoff, just not, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, just not right now. So please um, do your best to see, to, to do what you can to get through this period. And then from there, you'll be able to to have a better outcome. Now, if you absolutely need money now, you might have to sacrifice the whole amount for the small amount that they offer you. Okay, love? Yeah, so if I wait for as long as they want me to wait, uh, is there a possibility I they would give me my whole 100% uh, back if I wait for, let's say, a year or longer? I hear there will be a payoff. I, I can't tell you how much it, it, I can't tell you how much because it's going to depend on some of their moves, but I'm going to tell you there will be a payoff. So I, I hope that's helpful for okay. you. 
It has helped. Thank you. Thanks you are too. you are so so welcome, and I wish you the best. And please come back and listen to that again around the twenty three minute mark to get that clearing on um a, on money coming in. And there are also some clearings on my TikTok at Psychic Tony on TikTok for um, abundance and a number of other things that might be helpful for you at this time. Okay, love? Sure. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing day. And thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go directly to 415. 415. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. This is Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you? Good. I um, would like to hear from my dad, Bob. Bob, okay. Oh, do you have a specific question, concern, or conversation you would like to have with your dad? <clears throat> well, I have a funny question. Um, my radio has been doing crazy things, yeah. and maybe it's not the other side but one day all of my stations were the same station no yeah it's it's them you know like i have to, like it's absolutely <laughs> it is and another it is them it's them station <clears throat> yeah yeah okay so after i give you your dad's message i've told this story before but i'm gonna tell it again after i give your dad's message um <clears throat> Your dad is singing this song, and I don't know the song, but, um, <laughs> uh, okay, <clears throat> I, I do know the song. It, it's, it was confusing. It what I was hearing the first two words and then kind of thinking it was a different song, and he kept saying, no, no, no. So it's this crazy, I, I have not heard this song in forever and ever and ever. It's Round and round. Okay. And those are the only words. I know Patrick is going to chime in and tell me. I think a group called Rat <laughs> sang that song. I don't even know. I don't even know. Round. It's like 80, what, like yes. Like what goes of? around comes around. Oh <laughs> round and round. I can't even. I can't sing, <laughs> but I really cannot sing rock. Like at least with hip hop, I can be like, Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, and kind of talk sing it, but but rock, I cannot sing rock. Like unless I like rasp out my voice and make it horrible. Um so what I'm gonna say is he wants to tell you, hey Fawn. Um if, um he wants to tell you what goes around comes around. Thank you so much for um, joining me here today. I love each and every one of you so much more than you could ever even imagine. Uh, please have an absolutely amazing weekend. Join me over on TikTok throughout the weekend and 414-897-2869 uh, is the number to call for a private session. Remember, I will never reach out to you. Thank you again and have a beautiful rest of the day.